All right, Model Rocks 321 here, launching a Saturn V on an E24. Key in. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Parachutes? Whoa, that was crazy. Quick blast. Went sideways, everything should be fine. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that, but let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. All right. So you just saw the Saturn V take off. Went sideways? <laughs> Went sideways there a little bit. But everything, the four second delay, everything seemed to have popped out on time. Quick boost. I want to check this first. This came down. This the more fragile part. Let's see what we got. The upper stage. Everything looks good. I mean, I got to pick it up to really tell. But from what I can see, everything, everything is fine. Let me see. Capsule. Everything's good there. Wow. Saturn V. E20 motor, four second delay. Which <laughs> that's a long. That's in a long four second. Yeah, I was just doing this thing. So here we have the Saturn V on the ground. Parachutes did come out. Altimeter right here. I have an altimeter, so I'll know some stuff. Ooh, I see a shroud line came loose. So something ripped through. Easy repair though. A little smoking. There's the altimeter. There's some ants checking it out. All is well. Um, as far as I can tell, no, no damage. Wow, so it survived its first first mission. Engine still in there. Yeah. All right. Let me flip this around. Yep. All right, so the Saturn V just had its first maiden flight. One shroud line's detached, I see. I can fix that on the spot because I'm going to do another launch. Um, and the first stage is over here. Landed, you know, about 25 feet away from it. No damage. So. It went sideways, so I have to check this footage. Um, yeah, that boost took it up there pretty good. Not way up. I do have an altimeter, so I'll read off what that was. See what the what the data says. So let's get it. All right, so we got an altimeter reading that was on board inside the Saturn V. We got 355 feet and 145 miles per hour. It did some kind of strange loop and was falling. You know, that four second delay kicked in. The parachutes did come out, but you know, little little hair raising. And there we have some burnt wadding. But yeah, we will uh, we'll continue. Got to make a repair. Got to fix one of the shroud lines. And we're going to we'll fly it again. Fly it again. All right. Here we go. Model Rocks 321 Saturn V. Going on an E12-4. Going in three, two, one. Whoa! Hit the ground. Eject. Don't look like no no damage though. <laughs> so there we go. Saturn V hits the ground. E12 motor. At least it didn't blow up on the pad. I don't know. Let's see what we got. It hit on its tail, so motor kicked out. There we go. Engines right here. Landed right there. You can see a little crease. Yeah. There we go. Saturn V, folks, on an E12 4. Didn't go up there too high. Altimeter's inside there. I'll check that. Oh, yeah, there's some damage. I see some damage. Here's some damage. A little damage there. Oh, yeah. A little damage. A little damage on her. A little damage on her. All right, so there's a little damage to the Saturn V. It ejected on the ground. Here's a damage right here. A little damage right there and right here. The shroud got busted. It hit the ground. It landed on its on its tail. Luckily, it didn't nosedive or nothing. But 
that's all for today model rocks 321 this piece seemed to have survived i mean a little dirty a little dirty ejected on the ground but overall not great but not horrible either and we out here model rocks 321 and there's an altimeter in there let's see what the altimeter reading is forgot the altimeter is in here let's see what we got while we're here all right so i have the altimeter reading is saying 56 miles per hour and 355 feet i'm not sure how accurate that is that seems really slow and that seems too high i don't know <laughs> it's e12 four could be right but i don't know just seem a little low. i'm gonna look at the footage and then i'll know there's some ants out here checking out the checking out the launch all right i'll rock three two one All right, so you just checked out my Estes, or Estes Saturn V launch. I built it beautifully, and I had two not-so-great flights. The first one, it survived, had a torn shroud line, so that would be a failure right there. Um, not a great flight, though, either one. The first one on the E20, Aerotech E24 mode. I said E24, and that was a mistake. So it was on the E20, ejected close to the ground with a four-second delay, but it survived. Nothing really happened to the rocket itself. But the second flight um, went unstable. It was an E-12. I thought I could get away with it. I weighed it. It's on the heavier side because I built it somewhat heavy. Because I, I had to mask off and do all this paint. I added all this stuff up top to spoil everything. Adds weight. Keep that in mind with this type of rocket anyway. And... The one thing I forgot to mention um, that I didn't account for, this is where all the problem came in, was these parts here. These fins are Boyce Aerospace. I didn't use the, the ones that came with it. I used the Boyce 3D printed ones. And these are some heavy parts. They're light, but they're definitely heavy when it comes to this rocket. Um, there are four of these, the one unit. Instead of building up the ones, that was my decision. And I didn't account for this tail weight. And I didn't think may have had to add some nose weight and i didn't rock sim i just totally forgot i wanted to get it out and fly and so this is a lesson totally my fault these kits do work i saw a bunch of flights of some nice saturns out there i had damage now on this beautiful rocket but it's all repairable and rockets are for flying i'm not upset a lot of people think oh my god no it's a rocket yeah i put time into building and making it nice it is what it is i'll um repair it and probably get it back out there i'm gonna throw it in rock sim and see what the weight of these are because i gotta account for the weight on the end of this rocket up front i should be fine um this there's no weight in here actually i can't and i just totally messed this up because yeah I'm, i think i glued this cone on i think i glued this capsule on man so i may have to be cutting this command module off i gotta get this i gotta get this out of there because i don't think i well, I'm gonna do the rocks in first. I'm gonna count for the weight and see what motor will fly this thing perfectly. A 24 millimeter motor. I thought 20, E20 did okay. It just kind of arched and was like almost flying sideways. So you don't want that at all. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to try to figure this out. Um, and there's, like I said, some damage here, you guys. Yeah, just total total wreck. I mean, it's kind of a shame, but you know, this is this hobby. You try some things and sometimes it works. I, you have a lot of success, but then when you get a big a failure I consider this a failure like these two launches they weren't great they weren't what I what I normally do but there's a damage just being transparent showing you guys there's a damage there um everything else is fine that was it for the most part except for that one torn shroud line which I did get fixed so yeah guys um be sure to subscribe to the channel I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with this thing possibly get it fixed and get out there fly again put it in rock sim if there's a rock sim file if anybody have a rock sim on Saturn 5 I'll take that file if you have that and <laughs> put that in the comments. I'll dump it in Roxham and I'll be able to um, launch this and account for the weight of these fins because I added weight to the tail and I forgot to account for that. And I actually thought it would work. That's why I didn't. I thought it would be still normal. But tail, anytime you start adding weight to the end of the rocket, you're going to get some problems. And that second flight was definitely doing loop the loops. I didn't catch it on footage, but it was doing loops. So. Anyway, Model Rocks 321 here. Be sure to check the links in the description. Support the channel any way you can. And we'll see you guys with another video. It's Model Rockets 321. Also, check us out on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok.
Model Rock 321, I'm out. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.